Hello, Spidventures, and welcome back to another video. So today, we have an unboxing video, and I'm probably just going to call this a Tanuki Tail review, um, you know, just because that just seems to go over w better than calling it an unboxing, which it is an unboxing, but I do also go over things like a Tanuki Tail review. Now, before I start this off, I'm going to show you my very fitting shirt of Soul Leader. Yeah, fitting because of anime. I don't have a Soul Eater figure, but as you probably can see from that tag right there, I do have a Soul Eater plush that I might do in the future. So if you guys want to see that, comment in the comment section below. Um, more anime stuff will probably be coming in the future, but I would like to get um, like another Soul Eater plush or something if I can get like Death the Kid. But this is not about Soul Leader today. I'm very, very excited because I bought these not too long ago and I have been waiting to open them and just needed to clean my room and we did that and it's all beautiful. It's all good. Renovation's good. So I now have a place to put these and I don't know if we'll do these in one video because I have two of them, but the video if you can see, I don't know, but it is going to be Mio statue from k -On. Yes. Um, if you guys have been following me on Twitter, you guys will probably know that I have recently watched this anime. It's really good. It's a music anime, which I've never watched a music anime in my life. So, you know, it was a very new experience and it was very good. I bought a ton of songs of theirs on my iPod, and uh, of theirs is After School Tea Time, but um, I suggest looking up the song list, you'll find um, the person who created the series and all that, and then if you look them up on iTunes, you can get the songs. So, yo, yo, I, I have barely, like, touched this yet, um, because I have literally kept it in the bubble wrap. Like, I have not seen the box without its bubble wrap. So, that's what it looks like right there. Um, this is the um, school outfit of Mio. The general outfit in the anime. You know, this is what she's usually in. What the other girls are usually in. And the um, the blue ribbon is kind of like the year. Because um, Azusa, a girl that comes in... A little bit later in season one, she has a, um, she has like a red ribbon. Now, I should have been smart and brought up scissors, but for whatever reason, I was like not expecting tape. I don't know why, but I also don't want to rip the box because, come on, it's a cool box. And, uh, if I ever need to package the statue back up, so I'd like to have minimal damage to this box, you know, which, I mean, I feel like that's what most people would want, like, minimal to no damage, but, I mean, honestly, with the way I'm trying to get this tape off, no damage, like, 100% is practically impossible, so, just gotta be really careful. I ended up trimming my nails recently, so that doesn't help with the getting off the tape. Ugh. But you know what? That's okay because it was fairly easy tape. Um, oh wow, this just came off right away. Okay, it looks like we might just have to be putting this together a little bit. Um, not too much though. Doesn't really look like there's... No, that's it. Okay, so <clears throat> before we before we construct it, let's see if there's anything else on the box. Got that logo. I'm not sure what company that is myself because it's a Japanese company. And I tell you the stuff on the back of the box, but I cannot read Japanese, which is okay. You know, I might learn in the future. So, yeah. So we have the, uh, the body accessory and the head accessory that we are going to right now put together. Oh yeah, we also have the stand and Mio's base right there. So that's, that's cool. Okay, so 
By the way, yes, there will be spoilers in this video because if you know what Tanuki Tail Review is, it is basically where I go over the character that I am unboxing. So first off, let's talk about how Mio ended up getting into after school tea time. Basically, her and Ritsu were um, just starting off in high school and, you know, she was, they were going to a club. She was going to join the, um, the language club, I believe. And Ritsu basically talked her into uh, doing this club. And by talked, I mean, like, basically forced by making her feel bad. And she basically just kind of became a member from her friend Ritsu. So, yo, that looks epic. We'll go over the uh, figure in a little bit, but I'm going to really quickly unbox this stuff. So, um, you know, it was basically off of a promise that Mio would play in a band with Ritsu and they would have a ton of fun. And Mio is basically the shy, timid type in the band, you know, there's always that one character, and I can relate to her completely because she has stage fright, she can't really talk to people that well, and yeah, so I, I really relate to this character, and I, that's generally why I love Mio, because she is a really, really cool character, she's really nice, she's, she's practically the leader without being the leader, because Ritsu herself is the leader because she was the first one who joined, so she is club president. And Mio's basically just always trying to keep Ritsu out of trouble, like, 100% all of the freaking time. Because Ritsu just always, like, 100% gets herself in trouble. So, that's, that's Mio for ya. You might see more Mio figures in the future. So I'm just going to really quickly get this base out of the thing. Sorry that you guys haven't seen the other stuff unboxed, but like it was really, really bizarre plastic. So you have the stand right there, so that's pretty cool. You have the base, and yo, this looks really, really good. Really shiny. Yo, I've never had a figure that had the base. Um, I also have no idea how I'm supposed to, like set this up either okay well there was another piece did i did i lose a piece <laughs> because there's a um on the box you can see a little notch that you're supposed to put it on the guitar so um hopefully i didn't lose that because that would actually really suck because then i couldn't put the figure 100% together, and I've never put together an anime figure, so, you know, <laughs> uh, where is that piece? No, seriously, like, where did that piece go? I legitimately lost a piece, so that's, that's fantastic. Okay, um, yeah, I don't know where this piece is. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just frantically looking all around, just like, where is it? Johnny, what did you do with it? What did you do with the piece? It's maybe like under something? I don't know. Well, um, yeah, I will hopefully find the piece in the future. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, oops. Um, yep, it's probably like still in the box and I don't even realize it. So basically what the piece was, was it was... To connect to here and you um you basically connect this into there but you know you don't have we don't have the plug which is the thing okay so we have the strap here we have the guitar um and we have the cord we did have the the amplify <laughs> okay but um yeah I kind of lost that a bit. So we basically just need to put this together. So I just need to figure out the 100% correct way to do this. Because if I do this wrong, that would really, really suck, to be honest with you. Okay. Let's see here. Um, 
So we want the longer, or do we? Or no, no, longer goes in the back, apparently, I guess. I don't know. Guys, I'm sorry, I've never, ever put an anime figure together. So, my apologies. I don't know how this is supposed to work. <laughs> but, um, Mio is a lefty, by the way. If you did not know that, she is a left guitar player, which, you know, is what a lefty would mean. So, yeah, I'm just trying to, uh, <clears throat> piece this together, but apparently I'm failing, like, really, really tremendously bad, and most of you will probably be really mad just screaming in the comments, or just like, the piece is right there, mate. The piece is right there. How do you even, like, notch this onto the thing? How do you, how do you notch? I gotta call Minecraft and ask, how do they notch? <laughs> I'm probably doing this so wrong, and you guys are probably just cringing at how wrong I'm doing this. But, you know, nah, I'm sorry, guys. I've, I've really never done this before. There's no, like, instructions. And if there was, it would be in Japanese. So, you know, if anybody's, like, read the instructions, there is none. <laughs> okay. Um, so I think I've done this correctly. And then we want it to be in her hand. I'm assuming. <laughs> did I did I mess this up horribly? There's no like surround thing though where I can just check. So but I'm pretty sure I'm doing this okay. And it came off. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll fiddle I'll fiddle with this later and then I'll show you a picture of what it looks like. Alright, guys, this literally took so long to put together, but I finally did it. I found the piece, by the way. Right there. Sorry, I have a flashlight so that you guys can see. You know, so I'm just going to do a quick scan up. And that's what the figure looks like complete. You know, with the guitar, the, uh, the cord, the strap. The strap was heck to get on. I know that's not in the right place, but... I am telling you, that was probably, like, one of the hardest things, getting her on the stand. You guys know, I've never, ever done this before, so, yeah. So that's the thing. But this figure looks phenomenal, and I'm so happy that I bought it. So, yeah. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I accidentally put the, uh, my finger there. So, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys uh, have a wonderful day. But um, this is the Mio statue, which looks amazing. Like, you know, the hair flying up is really cool. They have that one piece so that you can put on the guitar strap. You know, she's supposed to be holding the guitar. The skirt flying up is, like, really cool because it's showing that she's playing. I really like the design of, like, the socks, the shoes. It looks really, really good. You know, they even have, like, the wrinkle marks right there. So, really, really cool figure. And, uh, I can't wait to show you guys the finished product. So, I'll probably actually have to edit this video. And, uh, the other one will be in the, um, other video. Because, apparently, I ran out of time, pretty much. So, check out Spade Gals Original for original content. Such as Girl of Cyclone, Quincor, um, and Spade Comet. Um, at the end of this video, I will show you the finished product once I um, complete the whole thing. Hopefully, I can find that one piece. And it's it's probably just still in the bag or something. But, um, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!